Two, two, you are up right, next. Right. What has our kid drawn here, please? Hi, my name is Vitarug and I go to Hay Park School and this is my picture. We've got the world's happiest donut on the left. <laughs> but evil, evil, clearly, red eyes. Oh, I'm going right. to give you type 2 diabetes. <laughs> That they're a little bit blazed and they're surrounded by donuts and they're feeling like, oh, oh, happy about it. When well, a stone person goes to eat them, they're like, it's cool, man, I know what it's yeah, like. It's I know what it's like. like. Okay. I think it's about Italian food, like being Italian good. food coming to life. Yes, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Okay, Jeremy, mm. uh, we believe that a lot of Italian delicacies are good for your diabetes. Oh, and they're, they're also coming to life and destroying cities and we should all be very alarmed. <laughs> what have you drawn? My picture is about the oldest lady and she's 116 years old. This is her and she has wrinkly skin. <laughs> to stay alive, she eats brandy and she eats raw eggs and she eats pasta every day. I wouldn't drink brandy because in New Zealand, we don't drink brandy, we drink water. <laughs> and this is my picture. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Good Thank you. The oldest living person in the world and the only one left who has touched three centuries, in fact, is raw egg-eating, brandy-drinking Italian woman who credits her long life to her daily eggs, her early bedtime and being single. She is 116, as Vitarag pointed out. Officials turned up at her house to tell her she was the oldest woman alive, but they had to wait because she was having a nap. <laughs> that would have been a nervous wait. <laughs> At 116, it's not, it's not called napping anymore, it's called gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, man, this must be a little awkward for you, Jeremy. I mean, seeing one of your exes up there. <laughs> we like, all remember the Bachelor season one. <laughs> If you're 116, you go out with a 100-year-old, and people go, Cougar. <laughs> there is a reason we've become a bit ageist. Like, when they interviewed her on the news, I swear that was the first woman over 50 I've seen on primetime TV. Oh, for sure. Sure. Oh, yeah, true. She credits her long life to being single, too, which is good, because instead of Tinder dating, she'd be bloody carbon dating. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they reckon, they reckon the, the secret, she said the secret to her being that old is she eats raw eggs and mints, mm. Yeah. Mm. which ironically is what a lot of old people smell like. <laughs> I mean, it's probably good advice. I eat a raw egg every day, but it's in cake mix, but it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly, if you left your 116, that means you were the biggest most boring coward of all time, doesn't it? All her other mates are like, come on, let's get drunk and go for a motorbike ride. She's like, I'm going to stay at home and have another... Live a little bit, you fucking conservative well, all, maybe, she's, <laughs> If you like that video from Seven Days, then click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or for more exclusive clips, go to tv3.co.nz forward slash seven days.